It's early morning on the tropical island of Trinidad. Tropical birds are everywhere, calling and showing their beautiful colors among the different greens of the island. Ornithologist and photographer Roger Nichols is up early with them. For the past 10 years, Nichols has been taking photographs of the island's birds. We just got buzzed by a hummingbird. Did you hear that? It's clear that Nichols really loves the place. He describes it as being like heaven. He talks about how incredibly beautiful Trinidad is with its many colorful flowers and birds. To Nichols, it feels just like paradise. This is the best time of the day for me, getting up, you know, five o'clock in the morning and heading off into the sticks, you know, up in the mountains. Um, the atmosphere, the temperature and up here is just fantastic, really pure oxygen. This is a typical day in the office for me. Nichols works at the Asa Wright Nature Center, which attracts ornithologists and bird lovers from all over the world. Most people go there to view some of the world's most attractive and special birds. However, the birds move very quickly. Nichols has to be very fast too, or he'll miss his opportunity to photograph them. Oh, look at that purple honeycreeper, whoa. The color is so unique, it's a fantastic shade of purple. There are about 460 different types of birds on the island, and Nichols is trying to photograph them all. But this takes time. He has to wait for just the right moment. But if you're not prepared to, to wait for the shot, you won't get it. Nichols has studied hummingbird behavior for a long time. Come on, talk to me. He knows most things about their way of life, including where they live. Hummingbirds live in very unusual nests that they build using their beaks and feet. And uh, they're really strong. They build them on the edges, at the very edges of the branches, and, and winds come, hurricanes will come, and uh, you know, gale force winds, and they wouldn't blow down. Why has Nichols chosen to study birds in Trinidad and Tobago? Came here in 1978 and um, was so enchanted with the topography of the land here in Trinidad and Tobago that I thought, oh yes, I could do this. Now check this out. Look Through this. his research, Nichols has developed a deeper understanding of all the wildlife of the island, even the ones that aren't so pretty. Whoa, you don't want to get your fingers in there. However, it's not just any wildlife that brings Nichols into the woods again and again. It's the birds. This morning, he hopes to get a photograph of a very small and very rare bird. Oh, look at this. This is the most festive hummingbird in Trinidad and Tobago, the smallest hummingbird in Trinidad and Tobago, the tufted coquette. Oh, look at him just sitting there. Wow. He's been trying to photograph this bird for six weeks. It's been a very long wait, and now it comes down to one chance. Nichols has finally gotten the shot that he's been seeking. Goosebumps all up my arms. This is fantastic. Nichols doesn't mind waiting for the perfect moment to take a photograph. Like the birds he follows, he enjoys the day and the beauty around him. No plans to give this up at all because, uh, you know, I figure I could do this for the rest of my life. And uh, yeah, every time I go out, I see something new. Apparently, the birds of Trinidad aren't the only ones who have found paradise.